Hi. I've had trouble with my phone. This is take three. Survival woman uh, here trying to talk about my books and I just to give you a short introduction to who I am and to my books because I felt I needed to. Um, I joined a women's Bible study um, in Central California where I live. Weird light from the window on my face. I <laughs> don't have any high tech stuff going on here. And uh, I think I just felt like I needed to introduce myself in a video and to everyone out there. I am actually more well known in places like Pakistan and Uganda and Kenya than I am in America uh, because I have this YouTube channel and people follow me on Instagram, which is weird, but you know, it's okay. So I am an American and I'm thankful for that. I have lived in countries where communism is controlling them, where dictators are controlling them, where post-communism has ruined them. And I'm glad we have still some democracy in America, the freedom to speak and to write what we want and to gather peacefully, even unpeacefully. Uh, it's not really a word, but um, I'm an English teacher, right? Um, and to believe what we want. Yeah, that's important. And we should hold on to those freedoms. I wasn't born in California or raised here. I was born in Florida and raised mostly in North Carolina and Virginia with short stints all over the country, especially in Texas and Arizona. Uh, my dad died when I was four. I had a very tragic childhood. Um, and my single mother and my younger brother and I moved around, didn't have proper housing, lived in our car sometimes or a tent. Um, but we came from a elite family. My grandfather graduated from Yale University and taught at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And my grandmother also was a professor and they were widely liked. <laughs> you can look up the Groves Conference <laughs> and find that. So I come from contradictions. My mother was this English, well, this woman whose ancestors were English and my father was this Irish man. <laughs> and you put English and Irish together, you're going to get some conflict. <laughs> and sadly, their marriage didn't last long. He died when I was only four. And my brother was a baby. And my mother struggled as a single mother and moving around trying to find a good home to live and nothing really good came out of that. And we didn't have a very good home after that ever. So I was glad to be able to come to California and get my master's degree in English and study world history and become a community college teacher and then later become a teacher at universities overseas in Russia, Turkey, and China, where I taught for five years and to live in other countries like New Zealand um, and England actually lived there. And um, I have four children and only one of them is in my life, my daughter, Jessica. I'm not going to publish her photo. She doesn't like to have an online profile. She lives near Los Angeles. We keep in touch. I love you, Jessica. I have grandchildren I've never met um, because three of my four children wrote me off. I have an ex-husband who was abusive. Uh, we could go on, but I write about this stuff, so I'll show you my books later. Um, I'm just thankful to be here, to be alive, to be able to talk to you. And I just wanted to say a couple of things. You've got some idea of my background. Um, and I don't like to drive because I've been in two nearly fatal car accidents. And um, I'd rather just ride with someone and be happy to pay for gas. I'm not just trying to use you or uh, get a free ride. I really, I can pay for gas. I just don't like driving. I had a nearly fatal car accident on top of a mountain. I used to live in the San Bernardino Mountains, Lake Arrowhead and Big Bear. I worked as a news reporter for the Mountain News for three and a half years. And I was in a bad car accident there. And then also in Houston, Texas, crazy Texas driver ran into me and I had a head injury and I was in Houston Medical Center, so I'd rather not drive if I have a choice. Please understand that about me. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, I love giving my books away. I have eight books on Amazon, and um, one of them, my most, my newest one, is the true story of my husband and I. Um, I my husband's in prison. It's our love story. It's called Sela and the Prisoner. You can find it on Kindle Bella. Pretty much free to read. <laughs> And um, I have a photo of my husband and me, our most recent one. He's getting out of prison in a couple of months after four and a half years of waiting. That's us two weeks ago. Aren't we cute? 
and this is a photo cube. It's really cool. The back, that's us around Valentine's Day. Yeah, we're just so cute. I love him. Jose from Mexico. I speak Spanish. It was the first language I learned in high school. And I learned some Russian and I learned a little, some Turkish, but didn't learn a bit of Chinese. Um, so, yeah, my books. I'm going to show you those real quick. Uh, I am Survival Woman, and I have a YouTube channel with that name attached to it. I survived cancer when my daughter, who's a young adult, was just three years old. And my youngest child, my son, was just a baby. And I wrote about surviving cancer in this book. Nope, wrong book. Oh, okay. I've been doing working on this and having technical problems. Let me find the book. Ah, yeah, okay. This is my survival book one, Crossing the Chemo Room, about how I had a very rare case, case of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And um, that's me, dressed up like a princess in Istanbul, because life can go on after cancer. And if I survived, you can too. So I read Crossing the Chemo Room. My books are 10 bucks or two ninety nine in Kindle. I don't make a lot of money on them. You would pay more money at Starbucks. And if I give you my card, it has all three of my names, Lana, Lisa, Williams, because you can't find me on Amazon without all three of them. And Lana is spelled like Donna with an L because I'm so unimportant. <laughs> Don't make much money on my books, but I'd be happy to give you one if you can't afford to buy one. And they're only $2.99 on Kindle. So that's book one of my survival series because I survived stuff, right? Book two, I saw you in the moon. That's a photo I took uh, in Hollywood. Yeah, and that's my longest book, very thick, <laughs> about life after cancer and how do you go on with an abusive husband and two little kids, right? I don't write much about the abusive husband until book three, Fire and Ice. Yellow, that's me in a North, Co no, in a South Korean shopping center in a ladies' restroom. That's me right there with my camera taking my photo in a restroom mirror with lots of weird yellow butterflies and flowers. It was really weird. Yellow. I like rainbow colors, right? Because God made the rainbow. Fire and ice. Read it. You will never read another book like it. I guarantee that or your money back. And I have a cross that has a rainbow on it. Different rainbow colors. Yeah, because God made the rainbow. And I'm wearing a shirt like a rainbow, yeah? All right. God made all the colors. So I try to color, make my books colorful. All right. Then my science fiction novel is in green background. Like a tree planted. Yeah, and um, that photo was taken not in the San Bernardino Mountains where I raised my two youngest children, but in a mountain, on top of a mountain in Turkey, the mountain's called Kartepe, which means snowy mountain, near, not too far from Istanbul, near, not too far from Izmit in the north of Turkey near the Black Sea. And I love this because it's so mysterious. You imagine something wonderful is gonna come between those trees through that mist and along the carpet of green like a tree planet, science fiction about a future world with a city under a dome and a teenage scientist who wants to find um, seeds, tree seeds, because the last tree on earth is dying. And she figures out a way to travel outside the dome and does a little time travel in there and, and finds some tree seeds and helps the people. You gotta read it, strong girl character, okay. And then my favorite book, which I grabbed first, is in blue, my favorite color. Sela of the Summit. That's me at a Renaissance Fair in Big Bear. Oh, look like a dork. Got to change that cover. Sela of the Summit, strong girl character. She's just a slave at the beginning in a desert, in a castle with an evil master who practices witchcraft. And one night she gets, she meets a mysterious stranger who leads her outside the castle and slowly up a journey up to the mountain and to the very top. And she sees rain and trees and lakes for the first time and waterfalls and falls in love. Got to read it. My favorite book, Sayla of the Summit. My email is saylatrilogy at yahoo.com. Hey, email me if you want. I will reply. I'll send you a book if you can't afford one. My second and my book about my husband and I is called Sayla and the Prisoner. And it's in Kindle Vela on um, Amazon. And it's about my husband, Jose, and I and how we met. And it's a beautiful book. And I'm going to write a third Sayla book. Uh, Sayla and the Stars, kind of a future sci-fi one 
Uh, each Sela book is in a different time period. Sela of the Summers Medieval, uh, Sela and the Prisoners Present Times, and Sela and the Stars will be future. So there's my email, Sela Trilogy, Trilogy meaning three. Yeah, go find it and enjoy it. And uh, feel free, any of you who want to share my videos, um, you can use them, you can duplicate them, copy them, whatever. I might have already said that. I've been doing this for like an hour now and Hopefully this one will take. Thanks for watching and um, I hope you realize that you can survive whatever comes and Jesus loves you and, and he wants a relationship with you. He's not a religion. He's the risen Lord who made the whole universe but humbled himself to be born a baby in a manger and to live among us and heal us and teach us and raise the dead and he became the perfect sacrifice better than any lamb who shed his blood to clean us and he rose again to give us new life and when i was 14 i heard that and i asked jesus into my heart and i walked through a door into a new world and you can too so the adventure continues thanks for watching this is survival woman saying jesus loves you have a good day bye